matter of fact, I've been getting this question quite often. Uh, you know, sometimes we think or wonder the impression that an account, because of the balance, because of the type of an account that it is, or maybe because, you know, maybe we paid something off. We feel that the account is gonna be either easier or more difficult to delete on one's credit report. As a matter of fact, there's either three different types of categories on your credit report, such as mortgages, which we obviously know what that is, right? It's a home loan. We obviously have installment accounts, which are actually term loans, car loans, student loans, those type of accounts. And we also have credit cards, either secured or unsecured credit cards. So when determining the probability of success or if an account's gonna fall off easier or it's gonna be more difficult, what is the determining factor? Are all accounts really the same? And I really wanted to go ahead and touch on that topic because it's been actually something that's been asked um, this obviously this last week. I always want to come up and for you guys out there watching the channel for the first time, this is Jay Lobos coming back to you on another episode. And I wanted really to talk about or demystify what is the length of time that it really takes for an account to fall off? Is it really all these other factors that we have? So for you guys watching the channel for the first time, like, subscribe, comment, and share if other people are out there obviously seeking the same type of information. So let's dive into that. So basically we have different types of accounts, right? So we always have different variations. Besides those items, we also have other variables such as inquiries. We also have personal information and we also have public records, right? So, you know, having a judgment on somebody's credit report could be, you know, detrimental because, you know, a judgment is obviously something that gets filed. Uh, if there's somebody, um, you know, either you get sued in this particular case, and if it goes to court, either in this particular case, the creditor wins the judgment, then what's going to happen? Then they're going to allow that creditor to either take legal actions or take legal matters. And to some people, that people might think, you know what, that's a very difficult account to remove because the account obviously has either a financial tie to it, or at the same time, it's a public record. It's a judgment, guys. So when it comes to actually determining either an account, it's, if it's something easier or not, the only correlation within that is time. Time is the only way that anybody could determine. So let's go ahead and scratch off everything. Forget about public records, forget about the balances, forget about the type of accounts. The only thing that, they, that it's a correlation within the probability of success, forget about balances, it's time. So why because it goes back to what the fair credit reporting act states everything has to be verifiable accurate and complete if it's not it must be deleted or corrected that's what the 609 section states right so now what do we want to go ahead and look into so when it comes to you guys out there looking for to see you know what what type of success am i going to have you have to know the length of time that has passed since the incident occurred either the account went into a collection status or the late payment occurred, or how many late payments, and since when. So what happens is through time, things happen. Situations, uh, companies go out of business, companies merge, um, people go ahead into bankruptcies. Um, in this particular case, companies go into bankruptcies, uh, you know, data doesn't get stored properly. And that's the only legal loophole that anybody has to be successful when we're challenging something. There's other, other ties as well, which is through personal information. Keep in mind that either negative or positive is tied to your personal information. So the more issues that you have, the more variations, the more aliases, the more addresses that you have, you have obviously a higher success rate of information obviously being deleted. So obviously I'm over here and sunny hot Florida <laughs> and I'm sweating bullets as you guys can see but nevertheless I wanted to bring this content out for you because it's a common question everybody's always telling me who's to look we have this collection it's 25 bucks um, how come it didn't it didn't fall off or you know what I had this I had this car loan and I paid it off so it shouldn't be an issue of it falling off but in reality it's none of those factors the only determining factor here is if it's in if the information is verifiable accurate and complete Again, there's different statute limitations, there's variations, there's different rules and regulations for debt collections practice, privacy acts that we can literally leverage when it comes to challenging and getting the information deleted. But in reality, the correlation is time. So keep this in mind, guys. You guys wanna have good success. The more time that has passed, the higher the probability of success. So that's it. Forget about balances, forget about types of accounts, forget about all that. If you're looking to go ahead and repair your credit and you wanna know 
the probability of you having good success, some information obviously falling off, focus on the time. That's exactly what I highly encourage my account executives to go ahead and focus on when it comes to doing an evaluation. So for you guys out there that are interested in restoring your credit, feel free to contact us here at Build War Strategies. Uh, we offer a free credit evaluation. Uh, obviously it's at no charge to you guys and we're gonna give you some fruitful information to make sure we get you guys in the right path. So. Uh, guys, again, this is Jay Lobos coming back to you on another episode. So subscribe, like, and comment. Until next time.